Genocyber, cyber monster from the imaginary world. Arctogram's piece is a piece of terror, a piece which is rotten beneath the surface. The blind girl Mel finally sees this, and now the time has come for the Earth-smashing angel to awaken. Genocyber takes its ultimate form and confronts its enemy in space. Super Cult Animation Genocyber Part 5, The Legend of Arctogram. Act 2, the final seal is now broken. In the beginning, God burned the dead leaves of the earth. Into their ashes, he poured his own blood. And lo, the ashes hardened and became the first man. One hundred days later, a great storm raged and smashed the body apart. And next, God gathered together the flesh of the beasts of the earth, and to this added one of his own bones. And lo, it became the second man. And this new body rotted in the heat of the sun, and the earth it sank into became as wormwood. And so God burned the poison ground, and from it produced a new seed. And he stilled the motion of the earth, and fertilized the seed with his own heart. And we are that seed! Who's there? I know you're here. <laughs> Will you tell me your names? Mine's Mel. Quiet, kid! Knock it off! Sorry. Hi, how are you doing? My name is Rocco. They told me to bring you to the church when you woke up. I see. Know then that we are God's chosen. Never forget our mission to build the new world. Nothing can stop the righteous new order we've been promised. Pray for true peace and happiness for this city. Oh, you've awakened, my dear. God's messenger? Me? Of course. Before the end times, a messenger is sent by God as a warning. That messenger is you. Your falling into this room was proof enough of this. Now please tell me, what were God's words to you? Huh? God's words to me? Yes, that's right. You heard his voice and saw him with your very own two eyes. God's form. <laughs> Have you remembered, my dear? If that was God, then he was terrifying. It was all too frightening. So that thing, then that vile beast must be... Oh, my dear Lord! I... 
I don't understand. Oh, it may already be too late. Forgive us our corruption and guide us to the light of hope. Oh, Master, where's the other one who was oh, with me? Oh. He must have been in the same place I was. What? We've always stayed together ever since we went down below. No, there was no one else with you. No, that can't be true. I swear. When Roko oh, came in oh. here, he found only you, unconscious. Oh. Ryu, where can you be? citizens of Arc de Grand, all participants in the Founders Day Parade, please file your program schedule as soon as possible. In accordance with the special public safety precautions, for the event, all those within the city limits must carry registration cards in addition to their normal ID. What's with you people? Letting this happen with the parade so close? I want you to double all street patrols. Bring in anyone who looks the least bit suspicious. Those terrorists don't get a moment's peace from here on. Understand me? All those moving between South Area and North Area are to check in with peace officer teams. We request the cooperation and understanding of our citizens. Ah. Oh, how did... Oh, how did I end up over here anyway? You there! Come along Let me quietly! Go. Let me go! Huh? Huh? Uh, uh, uh. Out of my way! Sorry to trouble you with this, Chief. Forget it. It's part of the job. Can you get up? Huh? Hey, you! Huh? Oh, Mel! Hey, what's wrong? Mel! You have to find Mel! She's down in the lower sectors! Please hurry! We can't be late! Uh-huh. Hey, what's the damn problem over here? <laughs> huh? Hey, you! Ah. When good luck comes, it comes in a flood. Who would have thought you would survive down there? Chief. You'd better take a look at what we found on this guy. It's the same as the detonator used in the bombing yesterday. Oh, yeah, I see that. I think you're mixed up with the rebels, too, aren't you? You poor unlucky son of a bitch. Huh? If you'd just stayed underground, we never would have found you. Oh, I... I don't know. I don't know anything about them! Is it you again? Diana? Now you're it! Try and catch me! Big sister, try and catch me! <gasps> Diana, wait! Why did you call to me, Diana? Why did you bring me here anyway? Oh, big sister! You don't like me? You don't like to play with me? Huh? No, it's just that there's someone very special to me. I can't stand worrying about where he might be. Life is so unfair sometimes. Oh, oh. Diana, try to understand. Hey. 
get up. So, you remember me. I'll bet you were one of their men. I'll teach you to screw around with me. I'll take my compensation out of your hide. What's going on? Where? Huh? Oh my god, a monster! Oh no, some sort of statue. Anyway, I better get her to a doctor. Huh? Who are... who are you? Where are you taking me? What? To the center of the city? Do you live up on the surface? I'm not from around here. I come from a town a lot smaller than this place. I just came to get her sight back. We were going to leave after that. Hey! Where'd you go? Is that the light from the surface? It's so bright! Forget it. There's just no reaction at all now. He's alive, but just barely. Yes, oh well. At least we got what we wanted from him. Just you wait. You won't be lonely. I'll bring your girl and your friends up here to you. The church is the rebel's base? Exactly. And I think the girl with him is hiding there too. The slums could become their main base unless we move fast. Radnack, don't you agree it would be wise to strike the rebel base as soon as possible? All right, then. Don't tell the mayor. I'll take full responsibility for this. We're about to raid the underground church. We'll take out those rebels with one shot. Isn't that a lovely smell? There were lots of these flowers in my hometown. I miss them so much. Oh, but Miss Mel, don't you come from heaven or something like that? Oh, is that what they told you? Well, it certainly is not the truth. I really come from... <gasps> Miss Mel! Oh, Miss Mel, what's wrong? Miss Mel! Huh? Miss Mel, has the Lord spoken to you again? Stay out, please! Huh? Keep away! Miss Mel! Get the hell out! Leave me alone, understand? Huh? Tell me, Miss Mel, has the Lord been angered now? I'm not God's messenger! I can't take this anymore! Leave me alone! <laughs> I fear she's become possessed by the devil. <laughs> Listen up, slum rats! 
You are to vacate this area immediately to make room for a refugee camp. Anyone who resists us will be removed forcibly. Are you kidding? This is nuts! Are you serious? And something else. You have a girl here with strange powers, don't you? Hand her over to me. What's he talking about? Yes, I see. You're the ones. Oh, you're devils. The ones who have poisoned our lives and possessed Miss Mel. Defiled beasts, this is a holy congregation. No place for the likes of you. You damned accursed demons, be gone! Wait! Miss Mel, stay back! Oh, Miss Mel! Well, well, what oh. have we here? So tell me, you're that guy's girlfriend? Uh, 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 Ryu, you're talking about my boyfriend Ryu, aren't you? Tell me where he is. If you know where he is, then take me to him. Oh, very well. Join him now! Your man is waiting for you in hell! Oh, 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 Lord, Miss Mel. God! Deliver us. Beloved citizens of Arc to Grand City, I am your mayor, the Honorable Grimson Rockwell. Today we celebrate the 50th anniversary of our city's founding. And as its mayor, I wish to thank all of you who love and work to build this metropolis. It began as a seed sown in the earth of the ruins of humanity's history. The great founders of this city set out to let civilization grow again, not knowing if the same mistakes would be repeated once more. But their wishes have borne fruit, and their seed has grown into a magnificent blossom. Thank you. Thank you all. And finally, my friends, you labor for this city. You myriad exalted souls who made it possible. Give a prayer of thanks and appreciation for our fair city. Give glory to Ark de Grand, our fair city. turn into that monster again, aren't you? Don't you understand? Our power has no... Our power has no place in this whole world. Diana? Hmm? <gasps> Big sister! Diana, am I dead? The life of the child I carry inside me will never be born alive. Oh, no, big sister! This evil city, I want this city destroyed.
Jinichiro Koryu, leader of the Koryu group, give you this order. Destroy the target. I say again, destroy the target. I, Jinichiro Koryu, leader of the Koryu group, give you this order. Destroy the target. I say again, destroy the target. Diana! I, Jinichiro Koryu, leader of the Koryu group, give you this order. Destroy the target. I say again, destroy the target. I, Jinichiro Kuryu, leader of the Kuryu 